Agricultural research is important when it comes to the foods that we enjoy when we head to the supermarket. But that research is especially important when it comes to third world countries suffering to find food to eat every single day. Well, we found a research project in Illinois using smartphone technology to help save lives. Agriculture has long been an important academic offering at the University of Illinois. But today, some of the research here is focused on crop production far beyond the corn and soybean fields that surround the campus. So it's easy to go in and transfer these onto the phone. A team of researchers and graduate students is developing technology for saving lives in third world countries. The team is called Scientific Animations Without Borders, or SAWBO a blend of academics, agriculture, and awareness. We're talking about a lot of the challenges that we face in getting information out to the approximately one billion low literate learners that, that live in the world. So as we started talking, the, this idea of animations that could be taken across cultures, across language groups, and could be deployed through the internet and through cell phones came up. <laughs> Using cell phones to disseminate animated crop production videos allows the team here to tailor the instruction in different languages to specific needs of a country or region. Learning by example overcomes the limited literacy skills found in many third world areas. So there's a lot of really great simple techniques out there that we can share with the world. Professor Barry Pittendry is one of the leaders in the agricultural project. He knows the need for these videos firsthand. The project takes him to Africa four times a year to work with farmers facing difficult food production problems. So there's a lot of great ideas out there that exist in local communities. With this type of strategy, we can go in and work with these communities animate those ideas and share them with the rest of the world. This is a typical cell phone video. This one focuses on controlling or killing pests that can cripple the cowpeas crop, a staple in many parts of South America and Africa. Graduate student Tululape Agabiade is from Nigeria and knows the struggles farmers face. Hers is the voice on the Calpies video. It was recorded on campus in her native language for use on cell phone videos in Nigeria. It actually means a lot for me to give back. I believe um, knowledge shared is very important in the world. It's always important when it's very good, it's rewarding when you have knowledge and you can share it with other people. Many times, it's the women whose job it is to take the family's crops for sale at public markets, something that hits home for Tululape. It makes me feel moved because I'm an African, and yes, it does touch me because um, I know they will have information that can have positive impacts on their health, um, uh, their farming skills, and so many other areas of their lives. First, we need to move the whole thing. Francisco Sufferheld is the project manager responsible for editing all of the videos. He says the animation approach avoids cultural sensitivities. I work with different groups of people across borders, and across different ethnicities, and I knew that by having animations that will make easier for the material that we can create here to flow across ethnicities and borders. The project also touches other needs, producing videos that address public health issues. Right now, most of our work is focused on Africa, but uh, also in Latin America and, and other parts where uh, they are facing uh, cholera outbreaks. And now uh, we are developing also health uh, related videos uh, that are in need, in urgent need. The Sawbo cell phone animated video project is currently underway around the world, encouraging change and impacting lives. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's, it's um, I think one of the things I always enjoy about this, this type of program and this type of project is you get to meet people from highly divergent cultures and this is type of mechanism where you do make some sort of connection with your community and you realize that hopefully 
will have some sort of lasting impact that will be positive for them, for them in the future.